Right now, I've been joined uh, by the skipper of the team, and I do call her Skip. I have that leverage so far. So we're going to be talking to her about her career, and very honored to be joined by Laura Wolvart. Hello, how are you? Hi, good. Thanks for having Skip, me. Skip, great to have you on the show. Uh, first of all, I think uh, what a remarkable career, more than 80 one-day internationals at an average that is above 40. I don't want to talk about the amount of T20s you've played. So generally, the experience and the success has been there. But, you know, like I always ask uh, any guest on the show, First of all, talk us through the career, you know, from where it all started and, you know, when Laura decided that, look, I'm going to be a professional cricketer for South Africa. Well, starting off, I definitely didn't think it would be something that I would be doing professionally. Um, it was always just something I did for fun as a kid, uh, just with my friends at school and just something I did after school for fun, really. And uh, it was only in my last year of high school that it mm. became a viable sort of career option. I think women's cricket really started accelerating during that time. and. Um, it just it was an opportunity too good to refuse um, so chose to stick with cricket instead of going to med school um, and yeah I've, I've been really happy with my decision and still loving it well you're leading a fantastic bunch of girls aren't you this is an amazing team to be around but I understand that certainly it's a very tough moment as well when you've got so many senior players mm. uh, retiring at this point so how hard has it been so far and then you know to develop those new combinations at a very important yeah. time yeah, it's difficult. I think if any team loses their four or five most senior players, it'll be difficult to rebuild from. Um, but at the same time, I guess it gives a lot of opportunity to a lot of new faces. Um, and not just new faces, some faces that have been around but have not necessarily gotten the game time and have been on the bench for a while. So I'm very excited to see what this series brings. Um, hopefully some of those new players are able to grab the opportunity with both hands and, and have good series. Um, but if that's not the case, at least they've gained a great bit of experience out here in Pakistan. So. Well, there's been a lot going on in the world of cricket. I think it's evolving at a very rapid pace now. And there's so much uh, frequency, as we call it. You know, you're traveling, the cricket involved. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for any modern cricketer, how hard is it to keep up with this, not just in terms of your physical capabilities, but also, you know, mentally being in the game mm. as well? It is becoming more of a challenge. I think it's not something that we in women's cricket had to deal mm. with until sort of recent times that we have a lot more cricket to play. Mm. Um, but it's just about managing it, um, just finding time outside of cricket. And, and if there are, you know, certain leagues that, that might be a bit too much for you to play, just to consider that and to, to consider how you're feeling in your mental state before you do have extra commitments as well. Um, well now yeah. in Pakistan, I know you've been having a lot of fun so far, but the competitive side of the series is also something that you're well aware of. And I know that as soon as you come onto the pitch, you're going to be a different campaign. And all fun and games end when you're competing. So how's the experience been so far in Pakistan? Yeah, so far so good. Um, I think we've been very lucky to be in a very nice hotel with mm. a lot of different games rooms and options to hang together <laughs> and spend some time. Um, we watched a bit of the uh, cricket the other day just on the big screen, so just spending some time together. Um, but yeah, I think like you said, it'll become a lot more serious um, getting into the game time. Um, mm. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully some good entertaining cricket. Now, a lot of us would want to know about the structure of women's cricket in South Africa. Obviously, some people are aware, but then there's a large amount of audience that need to, needs to understand that structure and then obviously in Pakistan we're still trying to build on that infrastructure yeah. for women's cricket. So what could you highlight about the infrastructure of women's cricket especially in South Africa and one very important uh, important component does become the youth structure there as well. Um, I think within the last two weeks they've announced uh, completely new structures for yes. us uh, which has been amazing. Um, they're speaking about professionalizing um, domestic cricket um, mm -hmm. which I think would be great for the depth on our side. Um, I think previously that's been something that we've struggled with just having the contracted SA players but not having much below that. Um, mm -hmm. But now moving forward I think having you know a whole bunch of players who are full-time at domestic level will hopefully keep more young girls in cricket as well um, that want to take up the sport and can actually see it as a viable career option. Um, mm. So it's a, it's a massive step in the right direction and, and I think we still have a long way to go. I think countries like Australia, England are really leading the way with their leagues and mm. Big Bash that's been around for like eight, nine years already. Um, so the league would be probably the next step and something that I'm really looking forward to. Um, but the, the strides made in the last couple of weeks are very exciting. Absolutely. And I, I understand there must be so many young girls who would want to be the next Laura for South <laughs> Africa. Uh, so that's great to see that the structures are definitely improving. Now, a bit of a cliche, but I'm tempted to ask you, who's been that favorite player growing up? Um, probably, well, when I was young, I didn't have a lot of female players mm, to look up yeah. to. Um, so mostly the, the male South African players like A.B., Jacques Callas, um, the classics. Um, but as I got into women's cricket a bit more, probably Meg Lanning. Mm -hmm. um, I really like how good she is at batting <laughs> and enjoy watching her. So, yeah. 
So being a skipper, added responsibility, something that you're enjoying so far or is there a bit of an added pressure as well? Um, so far so good. I'll see once the game starts how mm. I feel. Um, it's been a bit of extra preparation obviously, just um, as a batter having to learn a bit more about my bowlers now and trying to figure out their bowling plans mm -hmm. and fields and just a lot of discussions around that. Um, but so far I've enjoyed it and hopefully the games go alright. So uh, what's the motto now for the team when you talk about, because like we mentioned that a lot of experience is no longer there. Mm. So when you're leading a side that, you know, obviously in the back of their minds, they do understand that a lot of our players are not there anymore. So automatically mm. the responsibility comes to uh, some of the senior players that are there and also the youth that now have to step up their game. Mm. So as a skipper, what's the message to them and, you know, what's the team talk and especially that dressing room environment of Cricket South Africa right now? Um, we just spoke a bit about just really trying to enjoy being out here. I think it's a maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity <laughs> getting to come to Pakistan and it's our first time over here as a group. So mm. we're just going to try and make the most of this opportunity. Um, and I think just for those younger players as well, just to keep playing fearless cricket, um, mm. keep being brave and keep you know fighting for those opportunities and, and taking the opportunities and, and you know, doing that by enjoying and, and playing fearless cricket. So. Well, Skip, thank you very much for joining us and uh, we wish you all the best. And once again, like I said, you're going to have a lot of fans once you're <laughs> playing here in Pakistan. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you very much. much.